Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Rogue Trader playthrough here, where, if you remember from last time, we've just dealt with the uh, cultists um, and the Anvars, I believe. Yeah, we've dealt with all of that that Always stuff, so we are now in a, uh, in a nice, clear position to get our butts out of... No, we don't want to go there. Out of... Um, Footfall. Footfall, that's the place we're in. Uh, and yeah, go exploring. But the first things we need to do is go into this lovely, think. lovely pub. Bar. Definitely a bar. I'm just going to avoid the queue. You know, queues are for, you know, lesser people, right? And uh, we are going to go recruit Jay Hadari. Um, we do also have a second, I believe she will give us a mission to go and do a few bits and pieces around here. So we will be moving straight onto that as well um, after we've recruited her and then we will be getting our butts off footfall and going exploring the galaxy. Well, the Kronos Expanse. That is the plan. Anyway, we'll see how I how sidetracked I get. Hmm. Yoink. I'm a rogue trader. I just loot random boxes, guys. It's, it's what I do. May belong to somebody, but it belongs Is to me now. To oh yeah, and there's somebody I've got to say hi to down here. Now, can I remember what to say? Uh, rumors. Was it a quest? No, gonna speak to Argenta on the things, Persona Non Grata. I can't remember if this is a rumor or... Somebody told me to come and speak to somebody. Oh, okay, he just killed himself. By the throne, that's him, isn't it? Poor sap who got his tongue cut out by the Anvers. Just as I planned. <laughs> Nah, I'm not going to use it. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Reza. The woman looks to be in her 40s, and she is surveying you with interest. This is the pirates told me to come speak to her, didn't they? Her eye appears almost black against her dusky skin, while her left eye admits a greenish light. Looking for something specific? You buying, maybe? Selling? Don't be shy, just ask. Old Rizza knows all kinds of folks. My boys will fetch anything your hearts of your heart's desire. Her grandpa Bakhaval says hello. That old rascal. I thought he'd croaked in the mines long ago. But old man Bakhaval's still alive and kicking, you say? Me and him. We have been on a lot of interesting scrapes together. And oh, all the weird and wonderful things we start acquired. Bakval wouldn't send his regards along with just anybody. You must have done him a good turn. And because of that, old Riz is going to give you a special discount. I've gained a five cent discount on items from the Fellowship of the Void. Let's see what you've got to offer. Woo, 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 woo. I want to compare that to what we've got on um, Abelard. It's very good, however. Let's sell them some stuff. Because these guys are still useful to have on side. Can I get to 3k?
It's 2,500 I need to get to to keep it going. Basically, each time I up it, uh, don't think I'll have enough. Nope, that's fine. Not that I've got enough stuff. Um, hang on, I want to just check what Abelard's got. Eleven to seventeen. So yeah, it is definitely better. Here we go. Now who? Well, I mean, almost certainly Abelard, because it's it's really powerful. Actually, that's a really good weapon for us. And you can get that. It's a bit more techy, I guess. That's only a pistol. To be fair, it does more damage than the last gun, so. Yeah, there we go. That was useful, giving us just a little bit of a discount, and we got some decent gear off it from going there. So I'm happy we did that, channel. actually. It's made Abelard much chunkier in melee. I always keep my options open. Well, we're in a fuel cell. Leftovers are pitiful food. Ah, we'll do some crossing. And here he appears to be Jay Hadari. Day. You have no idea. I oh. just might. That's the second bottle you've downed. Jai Hidari. Falco sends his regards. And what does that unholy scion of a Grox and a Brahan want from me this time? Oh, wait. I don't really care. My sole plans for tonight are drowning my grief in a sea of Amasak. We'll give you grief, all right. Get out! Sorry, it's a bit quieter, guys. It's just getting the audio right on this game is tricky. Don't think so, Ashman. And tell Falco to come himself next time. Dari, I am tired of your mess. Ow! Get some sleep. <laughs> we'll talk about setting up later. Octi Sherin, light of my eyes. Can't you see my soul is full of sadness? Have you no horse at all? Let go of your material concerns and let me grieve in peace. <laughs> okay. Have we met somewhere before? Greeting, Sherin. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Mm, you can call me Jet. <clears throat> Von Phalansius. My deepest, humblest regards, your ladyship. I never would have imagined I'd be standing at the bar in the Amasekos next to an honest to God Emperor Rogue trader. Jai Hedari at your service. Professional trader, shrewd commercial broker, and, may ash he steal my tongue if I'm lying, the most honest dealer on football. Uh -huh. Nonetheless, we all have our problems, yeah, right. and at times yeah, even right. one's many merits aren't enough to solve them. Perhaps it would be no trouble for a person with your kind of... You see, Sherin, there's one cardinal rule on football. Anything goes as long as it doesn't get in the way of business. I'm someone who's been able. Sorry, one sec. I thought so. It's it's dropped down for some reason. To exploit that rule to the fullest, and in the recent years I've hit it so big I've become a speck of sand in someone's green eye. They used to throw small wrenches into my dealings here and there. Well, now they've decided to really put their backs into it. Some rats stole my cargo and dragged it off to the seediest part of the Shadow Quarters. A crummy place even for connoisseurs of Footfall's unique atmosphere. When I asked the Leech for protection, we had a mutual misunderstanding. 
I believe Vladayam, in a most lamentable fashion, has forgotten his duties as guardian of the downtrodden and wronged. So I'm in desperate need of a new one. And you, Sherin, fit the bill perfectly. All I need is for you to drop by one dark corner of Footfall Shadow Quarters and pound it into the thieves' heads that taking Heydari's property carries certain risks. Commerce test successful. Jay appears to be a serious operator on Footfall. The Legion's refusal to help means loss of potential allies, so Jay is encroaching on his turf. Uh. I shall become your May patron. the Exalted One bless you and your progeny. Then here's what we'll do. I don't we like should be seen together before we make it to the safe house. I'll head there first. I'll take my own spell. Right. Here. That's where those ash mags are keeping the stolen cargo. Out the bar, over the bridge, and to the left. There, in the depths, you'll find a small courtyard through which you can get to the place. I'll be waiting nearby. You can come when it suits you, but the sooner you do, the better. I'll see you then, Sherim. I do find all the female voice acting in this seems to be very like this, and uh, you know, airy and Let a us bit not weird. Dawdle. I'm not sure I entirely like. It works for some characters, but I think we're getting on too many. Ooh, so let's have a look at these. So, uh, bounty hunters, ne bounty hunters uh, next attack this turn will have additional effects. Deals additional uh, ballistic skill damage. Enemy's armor will be reduced. Ooh, that's not bad. Claim bounty, um, that's free, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, bounty hunter makes a free attack with its, the selected weapon. The attack always hits, but does not end the bounty hunter's movement. And just deals four times uh, the, my bonus of usual damage. Does less damage. After each third enemy is killed, it re we get it back, uh, and we recover one charge of thingy. Piercing shot, the bounty on the next attack during this turn will have 100% over penetration. That's quite nice. Prey, the next target attack hits a target as marked. Interesting. Uh, until the bounty on the next turn, whenever an ally attacks target marked with prey, they deal extra damage. Sets a trap on a free cell. I'm not that fussed by that one. I think it's between those two. So yeah, whatever I don't get, I'm going to get next. Uh, piercing shot is also good. Those three are exceptionally good. I think I'm going to go for claim the bounty with a free shot. Uh, Wall of Rockcrete. Uh, Vanguard and their allies in a three cell radius. Uh, game undealing. Take 50% less damage. That is huge. Oh, uh, defensive stance. And Bulwark until the end of the turn. Vanguard damage uh, deflection against range attacks equal to the number of stacks. So, mm, I'm going to go for Wall of Rockcrete to start with because it's another AoE buff, but. Hmm. Heavy weapon proficiency. That's quite nice. Just forcibly make my weapon skill higher. I'm trying to see if I've got anything specifically for certain types of swords. Power armor proficiency. Is there... No, I'm not sure if there's heavy armor and power armor count separately. Heavy armor, that's what we want. We want heavy armor proficiency if we can find it. Heavy armor proficiency. I'll probably get power armor proficiency as well long run if that's something I can I can use. Especially as we definitely have, while I'm thinking about it, let's make sure we get that heavy armor on him. Oh, it actually is not as good as what we got. Well, that's somewhat annoying. Can I add to cargo though?
That'll do. Um, so, it's still useful for us to have as we level up having him with heavy armor, because I dare say we'll get some good. I may regret doing it this early, though. So, this is my assassin. The assassin makes an attack, does not count towards per attacks per turn. Uh, the assassin movement. Um, basically, exactly the same thing. Uh, becomes a less priority target. That's quite nice. Basically debuffing them. I'm going to go for Death's Whisper. Oh, but no, so many. Orchestrate frame. The target does not stir burning and no longer makes tests to stop burning. I'm sorry, I kind of like the pyromancy stuff, but, but do I know what I actually need? No, to start with, let's get Death Whisper because that's quite solid. And I want to work out if it triggers on my psychic powers. The Archbishop's since nest attack, um, if it is hit, will cause the target to make toughness resistance uh, negative effect. Oh, wildfire. The Archbishop's next attack will cost 0 AP, not contained towards the attack limit. Um, grant a stack of us to. Yes. Hmm. As we're mostly going to be ballistic. Well, we can do the weapon stuff. Overwhelming. The Grand Strategist chooses one of the combat focuses for areas. Uh, for one round, the attacks allies. Hmm. Oh, we can pick some psychic powers. Immolate the soul. So many options, that's the thing. But no, I kind of like that. A straight damage in a line. Basically giving us more flexibility with her psychic powers. Not that I'm necessarily going to be taking her out all the time. Okay. We Is are now leaving. I've probably left some boxes. There's so many little things you can you can pick up, and it's so easy to leave behind as well. And I dare say some have some quite good things in. So to Shadow Quarters to finish off this mission. Then we've got to speak to, before we leave, we've got a couple of people we've got to speak to to just complete other missions. So this Always is... Always keep your eye on the prize. Hmm. I believe the warehouse we were going to. The northeastern part. Yes, yeah, so that is there. I thought so, but I was just trying to double check first. Sorry, my hair's sticking out like some sort of mad scientist. Savey, save, 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 save. And save a bit more. And save a bit more. Then hit save. 
and then hit save, and then forget to save for ages and mess something up and have to reload miles back. <laughs> they have put in much more auto saves, I have noticed, which is good. Keep your wits about you. Ooh. Shireen, I am here. Follow! She has assistance this time. That's interesting. I don't think she did last time, so this might well make the uh, fight a bit more... Um, man uh, to be fair, last time wasn't too hard, Let but in the um, original alpha, it was quite tricky. So you can dual weapon fight from the looks of it. Oh, look, we're in combat. What a surprise. Boom. And my two range boys at the back. Look at me. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Abelard. <gasps> oh, beautiful. There we go. You don't frighten me. Those combat servitors are the uh, really scary things. Burn. Oh, I should have done reckless attack. Sorry, wildfire. Here we go. As the Emperor commands, I act. Basically giving us extra ways of making extra attacks. Injured. I'm enraged. That, that hurt quite a bit. Hey, Dara, set fire to somebody for me, please. So, how do we actually use this? Uh. Okay, so yes. Oh, <laughs> Uh, guys, we don't need to worry about flame attacks. Oh uh, crap! From the ashes, I will rise. Um, <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> Please tell me it's not on their side. At least it will attack both sides. And why is everything covered in goddamn poison? I think I may have fucked up. <laughs> uh, Pascal, uh... kill it, please. I thought I gave us an extra attack. I mean, they're not going to survive one way or another, we may, I, I, I'm probably going to be reloading the save, guys, because this is bad. This is very bad. Again, I'm going to keep it because it's more real. Did he stun his own people quite a lot? <laughs> Poor Abelard. <laughs> Abelard keeps getting hit by our own team. What a rush. Protect the fallen. Don't you die on me now! <laughs> Come on, attack each other. Please? Thank <laughs> you. 
do not dare ask. I'm in trouble. Die, die, die. I I'm just loading the save, guys. That combat was over. <laughs> Why did you lose the combat? Well, we accidentally summoned a flame of siege on top of our faces. Thing is, at this point, they are brutal. Later on, things like that will be much easier to deal with. Is there money to be made? Hmm. Here we go. Take two. I uh, maybe I should have gone back. Always and, you know, keep your own pride. We'll first, beg but... for mercy, but I, I mean, will the... grant none. The emperor is Actually, with us. Actually, put Cassia right forwards. I'm not a fan of all these poison barrels around the place. Right, wish me luck. Hopefully better luck than last time. That's better. Not sure why that blows up the barrel, but... You guys, kill each other. Good boys. He's running gun. I'll do it. Dara. Set fire to him, please. So he will burn for a few turns, but that gives us the AoE thing, and we are going to buff our Genta. Should have used my debuffs there, but hindsight. Ah. -ah. <gasps> Killing something is probably more useful. Farewell. So it. Disarming attack on the that guy, reducing achieved. those combat servitors. And let's cast we'll for an opening on that, because we are definitely going to be hitting that again. So, 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 Idara is my psychic assassin. And we're going to see how we can build that up, we'll see. May or may not work well, but I, I, I don't necessarily play the meta builds, guys. I just play what I think is going to be fun. Good dodge, Ad um, Argenta. Ah, you... Get. I hate sniper eggs. 
take out that thug. Yes. Let's go to the hitman first. Oh, I should probably mark him with prey, shouldn't I? And let's do a run and gun to get another shot off. So I'm successfully giving myself quite a lot of shots per turn now. Three <laughs> shots per turn. Ain't bad. Ah, oh, goddamn stun. But we're not doing as badly as last time. We've got some of the goddamn flavor. Can you not shoot me and blow up my cover, please? Well, bugger. <sighs> Having people stunned is not helping here. Maybe I started too far forwards. Kill the ash magnets. <laughs> aim for a few <laughs> barrels. No. No, don't aim for a few barrels. Bar 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 barrels, please. Buff. Good. Let's start reveling in some lovely slaughter. I'll see to it personally. Nice. And a reload. One day, Abelard will get a turn. One day. Maybe. If he's lucky. I mean, at least they're all poised, taking damage from all this stuff now. Crap. It, um, Cassia is down. Okay, this is still not an easy fight. Right. You are Bernie Man. See, I should be able to cast it on them. It really annoys me. I'm not so sure. Get into cover again. Not this Grayer's job. <laughs> Keep our gentle up. Oh, it's too much goddamn poison. I really should not have been so far forward. No can do. I think that's my issue. Next time, I'm probably going to not start so far forward. I mean, if Abelard had actually been able to have a go, half my people have been stuffed. I'm sorry, Argenta. One fewer target. At your back and call. It's my turn. You never stood a chance. Damn. Put a prey tag on them. 
On it. My gut tells me it's a bad idea. Ah, oh, that's hoping to. <sighs> To put the prey tag on them, I'd have killed them that way. A mere pain won't stop me. Stop shooting me in the back, you smegging goits! Him. Oops. This is pretty true problem. Meant to put prey on them. Again, she no, can't even do that. This fight's proving a bit more challenging than I'd thought it would be. And we're not even take touch. Those combat servitors are still very much up, and they are by far the scariest things. Ah, uh, okay, stop that was a hitting me, Ashmug. Okay, time to Who? start trying to take that if combat not servitor me. down. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Gonna have to reload, but give me free actions. The best Always defense is a good offense. So this is Jay doing her yeah! fellowship leadership thing because she's got that as well, and basically she's using it just to buff me up. Ah, that's gotta hurt. Just a minor setback. Ouch. <laughs> That'll do nicely. Ah, you <gasps> bastards. <laughs> ah, it's not actually giving me a free attack though, is it? Seriously, Agenta. The guy that's on fire is probably going to die next turn, so if we can take out this combat servitor or make it this is get why up, I so was that we can try and not get another round, that's perfect. Eradicated. Commands, I act. <sighs> Weird. Oh, is it because I can't is. properly see them? Keep our gentle up, please! What does this one do? There we go. There we tried. One day I'll manage to get her AOE fire thing working. If you know how to make that work, guys, let me know in the comments, because I'm really confused. Oh, god damn. Freaking stun grenades. Good, it failed. Good. 
good. I think we got this. I think we got this. Oh, what a mess. Thank the throne we didn't just have come here with just the three of us. Shut up and get moving, Core. Need to open the passage into the tunnels to get out. Let, let our guys in. Uh, Jay, on your signal. He's asked my stairs to touch anything from the cargo. Two, three, five, or five, the exalted one. The Ashmags didn't have time to make off anything. Uh, give me two minutes, Shireen. I'll send the quarters to my loyal crew and they'll deliver the pro property to somewhere safe. Wait. And done. We're good. Now, how about we relocate to a more pleasant and private space to discuss the details of our deal? Specifically, payment for your efforts. Uh, what? Hey, you can't just leave things. Uh, let's go. Here's how to reply. I many footsteps behind you. I'm glad I'm saying, stop right there. My name is Felice. Um, the gaunt, pale skinned man, grimly in grimy clerical robes, glances at you and immediately falls to his knees in obsequence. However, I say it, obsequently. Your Excellency, please forgive my vengeance, most noble jet. I never expected to encounter such an eminent person in this quarter of footfall. I am Vladam Tokara's personal agent. I came here to remove, uh, to remove from criminal circulation a shipment uh, that the distribution of which is banned in the lands of footfall. Horrendous Xeno heresy that had been fraudulently delivered to a bastion of our holy imperium. He looks at Shay. I do not doubt for a moment for no stupid jet, but your presence here is merely a misunderstanding brought about by another's manipulations. Uh, Commas Tesk. It's a great coincidence for the Legion's representative to arrive in Shadow Quarter just after Jay has, a, has recovered for rightful spoils. It seems the guard reported the problems with the shipment over Vox. And not to anyone, but to the Legion's personal agent. Vladim Takara knew about the shipment from the start and planned to take it for himself and get rid of Jay. Okay. Yeah. Jay Hadar is the owner of his cargo and is under my protection, under a road trader's protection. Tell your master he should think twice before crossing her from now on. And don't forget to tell him I'm not mad, but I will be collecting the debt sometime. <laughs> I wish I could see Vladam's face when he finds out he's almost stepped on the toes of one of the most powerful people in the expanse. Listen, Jet, I'm generally sorry about this confusion. Vlad and I have had our difficulties, but I never thought he'd want to clean me out and do away with me in some dark corner. At least, not so soon. If you hadn't agreed to our deal, Shireen, my gang and I would already be floating in orbit around one of Footfall's asteroids. Ah, yes, the shipment contains Xeno artifacts, possessions of which is a death sentence for any commoner. But you see, uh, but you, Shireen, do not strike me as a commoner. If I had told you directly, you would have become, shall we say, complicit. But since those illicit words did not escape my lips, you would merely be agreeing to help an unfortunate soul, me, to recapture a few containers. My sincerest wish was to protect you from all unnecessary trouble, Shireen. Yeah, right. I swear by the exalted one. I do hope that this act misunderstanding will not affect our future cooperation. The statement is true, with the exception that you yourself are an uneducated laywoman and a thief who ought to stay away from technological preservatives of non-humans. I am now requisitioning your preventive your preventive disposal. I'm not sure what he means there. Uneducated? Me? I have held things in my hands that you cog the brains can only deem in your oil-soaked data fantasies. Stop hiding behind piety and law. You're simply defending your clique's monopoly. Uh, 
on anything and everything of interest and monetary value. Tone of joy. Yeah. Uh, I could do some of your talents. Exalted one, bless you. Your entire dynasty? I wouldn't say no to making the occasional. the occasion. marking the occasion properly. It's not every day you embark on brilliant new business partnership. To sully von Valencia's name by inviting people like her into your retinue, Lord Captain. The decision is yours, but do not be surprised if unsavory rumours start to spread around footfall. Strange circle you are forming around yourself, rogue trader. Sister Argenta, I've heard all about your deeds on footfall, and I would never have guessed it was an angelic beauty behind the idle gossip. Either way, I'm entirely willing to join your retinue. From now on, my knowledge of the expanse is entirely at your disposal. Oh, and one more thing. If you're interested in, lucrat in a lucrative, rather lucrative offer, uh, that can give the Von Valencia's protectress legger. I'd say now isn't the time to be thinking of such things. But once you're back on your ship, perhaps you could spare me a minute, Shireen. And we gained profit factor from bringing her in. I am going to leave her out for now. She doesn't really fulfill a role I want filling. Daft as it sounds. I don't want the last pistols, however. Oops, I took one by mistake. Yeah, we are definitely injured and bleeding. So we're going to go hand in our quests, basically, and then move on, I do believe. I always have a backup plan. So we need to go to talk to Vladam and uh, the Horonymous Rev the Reverend. Reverend, 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 Bob. Go. Yes, I know there is quite. There are other quests in this quarter. I'm not doing them just now. I may come back and do them, or I may not, because they are little side quests. We might have a look if we ever come back this way. I want to get into. I, I want to get into space and, and actually having fun out and about. So. Mm. To the Liege's residence to start with. Like the entire jerry can thing, which you can see in my other videos, if you've not already, you know, my, my beta videos. I really wish I could have kept the playthrough going. I did manage to get one save working, but things were being really weird and it kept crashing. So, working's not really the best phrase for it. It was um, just about stable, maybe. I could have possibly got it working, but I think things would have been broken when I got out of the, uh, out of the uh, place I was in. Which was very dark and spiky. I'm not spoiling anybody who's not watched that playthrough yet. I mean, I don't think I actually had a mission to I deal with the last, but we may as well see it. Ah, greetings, your ladyship. Um. I found to neutralize the Anvars. A truly outstanding accomplishment. Uh, Toilet about shorter. Uh, the Anvars again, I presume. I suspect the agent wishes no occasion to deal with you. Uh, only one person to gain you. If you're suggesting the outlaws are acting on my orders. Oh, I hadn't realized that.
Let's get down to, get down to business. I mean... I'm gonna leave it for now. Let us not do There we go. And let's go speak to the Reverend. Tell him we've dealt with the cultists. So that Argenta can come with us. And then we are going to actually set sail into the void once more. We've been on this horrible colony for too long. So it does kind of give you hints now where stuff is. That's cool. But again, I'm not doing it today. Is there money to be made? I can come back and deal with that later. The Emperor protects. You, you, your request has been fulfilled. The cult has done the chalicles has been cleared out. I hope their suffering was consonant to their deeds. Ooh, lovely person. Mm, tell me, uh, I must take my leave. Can I actually trade with them? Not from the looks of that. That wasn't so difficult. Right, let's get our butts to space. To the docks, and then off this horrible rock, and to try and find my lost colonies. To replot the warp slowly. Um, which I do know how to do now nicely. It's a bit of a, can be a bit of a pain, but we'll we'll manage. We shall manage. Plot. Build up our our empire again. Find our lost colonies. Probably gonna try and go to the tech one first. No, I may not. We'll see how it goes. Always keep your eye on the prize. Oh, look, Henrix is back. Lord Captain. Honored interrogator, what a surprise. Did you have a chance to leave something in your cabin? No, not at all, First Officer. I'm not in the habit of leaving a trail, but I thank you for your concern. I I'm pleased to see you. <laughs> I'm not going to try and flirt with him. I am glad to hear that my presence aboard your ship did not leave any unpleasant memories. I hope your disposition will change once I explain the visit for my, my yeah, the reason my visit. I I was able to contact my mentor and report for tragic events that transpired on Ricard Minoris. I also received some information from my agents regarding the movements and actions of the enemies of humanity, including Xenos, uh, that were ass that we're assuming were involved in the theft of the star. According to the findings. The threat now hangs over other worlds. This time yours, Lord Captain. By the order of Lord Inquisitor Xavier Calcazar, whose duty is to stand sentinel over Kronos Expanse, the rogue trader of the House Von Valencius is to take me on board. Take on board the agent of the Most Holy Inquisition and provide escort and support in deeds great and small that serve to safeguard the territories of the Imperium against its enemies. This decree is effective immediately upon announcement and shall remain on in effect until decided otherwise by His Excellency Calcasar. Technically, technically, I could say sod off here because I'm a rogue trader and I'm not bound by the same rules. Oh, I got, got from it is that riddling ourselves of this, ridding ourselves of a snitch won't be easy. Okay. Uh, I can't really say no. Can I? Uh, Henrik studies for a moment, ever so slightly, as if wanting... Uh, as if not wanting anyone else to see. Shakes his head. 
Uh, yeah, he has to join us. Uh. Hi, Rogue Traitor. Welcome, the agent of the Golden Throne. I am not fond of the methods used by the Inquisition, but I will assist you in any way I can. I understand, Jet, but duty to the Golden Throne is seldom pleasant. I must also deliver this to you. He has a, uh, passed you a sealed letter. The Lord Inquisitor specified the contents of this envelope for your, for your eyes only. I would ask you to read them as soon as you have time. Ever that is everything for the time being. Are you headed to your ship, or do you start business on footfall? Okay, so let's read this letter. Ah. Ah, may the Empress faithful servant forever remain in the light of his favour. Let me express my condolences on the, the tragic death of the most honourable Theodora von Valencius. Nevertheless, I was elated to learn that the warrant of the rogue traitor has been passed to a worthy and promising heir. These words are not hollow compliments, but rather the Inquisition's official opinion on your person. Uh, as fate would have it, you have taken the reins of the Von Valencius dynasty in an hour most dire, when grim portents and dark events uh, to come are surfacing throughout the Cronus Expanse. I have been duty-bound to become the first sentinel who sees the approaching threat, and I hereby alert you uh, that it is indeed coming. Our loyalty and resolve will be tested. People such as you and I uh, will become the pillars of what will unite the Emperor's frightened children and inspire them to fight back. And so I greet you as my dependable ally, and assure you of my favour. From now on, you and a trusted friend within the holy orders of the Emperor's Inquisition... Uh, oh, you have a trusted friend, uh, and a receptor's confidant to whom which you can rely, rely. Should the dark times ahead require you to make questionable choices, I have no doubt that such an incident will be examined in exceedingly temperate fashion. Sod off. Basically, he's saying, I'm on your side, but I'm watching you, in polite words. Yeah, I'm watching you, but if you do what I say, yeah. The Inquisition of the Inquisition, they are both good and bad. Um, the necessary evils, which is basically the entire Imperium. Nothing is good in the 40k universe. There are no good guys. If you think there are good guys in the 40k universe, you're wrong. Azva. Uh, Sa. Lord Captain, the inspection of ship systems is complete. The tech priests are reporting the machine spirits are calm and satisfied. Everything is ready for onward tra travel. Except there is an issue you must be made aware of. I have been studying the records left by the vessel's previous navigator. I wanted to double check the route to Darganus and discovered that it does not match the one recorded in the Atlas. It is more than a minor warp fluctuation. The route has been wiped out. It can no longer be used for travelling. To uh, make matters worse, I started checking the paths from the Atlas, one after another, and I saw they were the same everywhere. The warp is roiling in an ominous storm, bursting with vivid screams and col screaming colours. Basically, we've lost all the routes, we have to retract them. Warp storms are our enemies, just like heretics and demons. It is a shame they can't be dis burst with a flamer and bolter. Now we can be certain that the problems with the astropathic communication in the Kronos Expanse are not just a coincidence. There is a warp disturbance in your way, Lord Captain. It is swallowing messages and disrupting familiar routes. This means you uh, this means you need to locate the key worlds of the Valencius Protectorate as soon as possible. I am talking about Janus, Dargonus, Kiva Gamma, 
chanting new routes so they can be reached and restore in control will be the next necessary step. Very well, the course is clear. Do my officers have any other issues? That is all. Okay. To space! There are people I need to speak to. I will probably speak to them offline to pick up the quest, guys. Uh, oh, Lord Captain. Uh, we are once more within the reach of the Von Valentius Protectorate. Of utmost urgency is restoring communication uh, with your planets and bestowing the wisdom of your decrees upon their stewards, developing colonies, claiming new territories, and establishing the trade links. All that is now your privilege and burden. Uh, where's the button I want to press? Ah, here. There we go. To the void. And this works in an interesting way. Basically, I can... Ah, chart. It is now literally called chart new courses rather than scan the area. So basically, we scan to find out. And then we gain a point, which we can use to make things better. Uh, I also want to find Foulstone, which I believe is somewhere around here. But this is an easy route, if you see what I mean. So green are easy. Yellow are slightly dangerous. Orange are very da more dangerous. And red are very dangerous routes. You can spend points to make them easier as well. But that, guys, is where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this. Pop comments in the comment section. Comments in the comments, God, guys. They really, really do help these videos do better. So please pop comments. Ask questions. I will endeavour to answer as best I can. Um, other than that, as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons. That's uh, Monsterbound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Brutaru, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason F, Egg, Scrin, Newbie One Kenobi, Jared Horn, and Good Sir Twisted. Thank you all for watching. Cheers all.